Now, criminal justice experts converge in Abuja to appraise the administration of Criminal Justice Act 2015 across 26 states of the Federation. The act, which has been approved in only 26 states nationwide, is expected to boost Nigeria's criminal justice system. Merging both the nation's criminal and penal codes has been bedeviled, which has been bedeviled with slow trials, abuse of arrested suspects' rights, poor performance poor reform facilities and inadequate funding to run a modern criminal justice system. The fourth national project working group session organized by the CLEAN with the theme promoting accountability and implementation of administration of Criminal Justice Act 2015 is also expected to appraise data collated from the 26 states, 26 states already implementing uh, it nationwide. Today's session is just basically to bring together the project working group so that we have periodic discussions. Like what you see here, you have partners that are on the project and government agencies. Why we decided to bring these people together is one, what is everybody doing as relates, as relates to the ACJA? What is the objective? And then because we have been implementing for a while since 2017, we need to be sitting down and be reviewing how, what is the progress, where are the challenges. Thank God you have um, the ACGMC seated here. Like I said earlier, it's a very strategic meeting for Clean Foundation, but also for them because they are also supposed to be teasing out what is happening across the state so that they are going back, they are discussing to see how each of the states, uh, states that have passed the, the act are going to make progress to reform their criminal justice system. So this uh, meeting in a nutshell is to sit down and examine what are the, the challenges, what are the patterns that we have seen um, within a period of time. The criminal justice system can improve, but we need to do investment in our judiciary, we need to invest, do investment in our security agencies, we need to do investment and in even the way we arrest individuals. And, and because the constitution is very clear that you are innocent until proven guilty by a court of competent jurisdiction. But what happens sometimes is that um, people actually forget what the law says and do what they think is right. But that is not the, that is not the way we are supposed to do it. The, 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 the rule of law means that the law is paramount and that we need to obey the law. And I think it can only work when everybody, we all come together and agree that we want to um, work under the law and obey the provisions of the law. So the idea is also to bring our local partners who collect uh, data on a daily or weekly basis on cases that are before the courts in terms of issues of corruption, arrest of individuals, um, to compare notes because we have data collectors in almost all the sick geopolitical zones. So the idea is for them to um, come for this meeting, share their experiences, um, uh, share their successes, um, and share their problems. And then we'll discuss with government agencies, uh, members of the Administration of Criminal Justice Monitoring Committee, um, the judiciary, um, and, uh, and the enforcement agencies like the police, um, the correctional services, um, and other security agencies to discuss how to ensure um, that the rights and, and privileges that are envisaged by, both by the constitution and by the law um, are followed.